Hey there guys, I'm the Wii 552 and today I'm going to be comparing my Tektronix 465M with my DSO Nano version 2. So first I'm going to do a test to see which one boots up faster, turning them both on at the exact same time. Okay, so the Nano wins. And the tech scope is not far behind. So I'm going to set them both to uh, two volts of division. Uh, let's find the trigger. that up. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is have them both set to uh, 200 microseconds per division and I'm going to turn on my function generator. So right now I've got it set to 10 hertz, so I think we have to turn this down a lot. We'll find something that looks nice on the DSO Nano. Okay, 500 mic uh, milliseconds of division. Oop, no, wrong knob. There you go. So I am displaying a triangle wave. So I am slowly going to increase the frequency now. Actually, sorry, that was about one hertz. We're at approximately 10 hertz now, so I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll set this to... Um, Fifty milliseconds. There we go. So we've okay. It's pretty similar. I'll turn this up more, and they are both displaying the signal accurately. To the next click. The GSO Nano is having some troubles triggering. Turn this up until the Tektronix is the low scope. It's hard to tell what it is. Okay, that's approximately it. The nano is similar. I'll turn it down. Right. Okay, 20 milliseconds of division. Looks good. Okay, now I've got it at about 150 hertz. I can turn this up a little. milliseconds of division and we are getting pretty much the same result so I'm going to turn this up even more okay so we're at about a hundred Hertz now I'm going to slowly increase the frequency Okay, the Nano is starting to have some troubles um, in this time setting, but the Tektronix oscilloscope is perfectly fine. It's just a bit small. So I'll set them to 0.2 milliseconds of division. 200 microseconds. And you can see we're getting pretty much the same display, except the DSO Nano is having it move a little bit. So I'll t turn it up once again. At about a kilohertz now, just gonna 
increase this again. Okay. Approaching 10k. Just over 10k and DSO Nano again seems to be attenuating it. Okay, so we're at about 15k. Turning time division down to 20 microseconds. Again, we're getting pretty much the same display. Let's turn it up some more. Okay, once we get to about 100 kilohertz, um, we are beginning to see some weirdness happening. Drop this down. Like that, and we'll raise this one. No, two microseconds. So we're seeing a similar thing, except on the analog scope. Don't know if this, this will show up, but we're getting a little blip here. This is not displaying that. Continue to turn it up some more. Okay, now we're going to get up to a one megahertz. And you're going to notice something weird happen. I'll set this to one microsecond of division. Okay, so you notice it's really horrible. Watch this. you'll notice the frequency as I turn it up it goes up 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 and then all of a sudden it kind of hits a point and drops back down on the DSO Nano where obviously it's not this is due to the fact that it only has one mega sample per second and while that is fine for some applications for things over Oh, I'd say probably about, yeah, probably about 50, 40, 50 kilohertz. That's when you start running into some problems and, uh, yeah, stuff starts getting messed up. So if you fall into that category, then this would be fine. Otherwise, this is what you need.